Hey guys, so if you saw my previous video, I showed you guys how you can download IPA Wind. So I want to show you guys what it actually looks like and what you can do within it. So this is the home screen. And in the home screen, once it loads, you'll see the latest apps, most popular apps, and live better apps. And you can kind of scroll through them, you can even do see all, and you can just get a general idea what it looks like and what it is. Now let's go to Cydia. So once you're in Cydia, you'll see all the apps available that the jailbreak community has. You have Cody, you have Moviebox, you have Cartoon HD, even have Livebox. And you can even go down further and see all the ones that have been posted. Now you can also go to sources. Here, just like in City, you can add more sources and get other apps. Now being that it's not a jailbroken device, you can not do any changes to the system itself, but you can get apps in general. So for instance, in the sources, sometimes the apps update faster than Cydia in um, IPA Wind updates them, so you can get them through here a little bit faster. And you can even add other sources, just like you can do in Cydia, and get apps from there. Now the next step is the custom apps. So in here is something that developers have done minor changes to it and share those apps to this community. You can download them. I usually don't, but it's a personal preference. This is the app manager. Anything that's downloading or any apps that you have downloaded, you can go in here and see, install, and delete. Next step, we're going to go to update. So this is going to update any apps that you downloaded through IPA Wind. So if you develop, download a developer app, then you can update it through here. I don't, since I don't do any developer apps, I usually get my developer apps through App Store because I do want to give the developers credit. The ones that I get through IPA Win is mostly Cydia, Cartoon HD, and further on. Now, if you're in this screen, this is all settings, and here you can do a lot of changes. You can add multi app, you can even add rename app, you can even do iTunes sharing. You can even do um, remove iTunes metadata. Pretty much that's kind of what it looks like and what it feels like. It's very easy to use. And if you want to delete an app, it's the same way. Hold it, X out of it, and done. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe.